Hi folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys in a Ride, and today we're here at the Minneapolis Auto Show. On this beautiful day, we're here with Rick, thanks to Bob Marvin, who is the owner of this beautiful, rare uh, Camaro behind us. And uh, Rick is going to take us for a tour around the car. First of all, tell us what this is. What are we looking at? It's a 1969 Smoky Yonick uh, race car. There was three of these ever produced. Jeez. Only I, three. And I can show you two of them when you come up to our location. So what made this unusual? So uh, in the Trans Am race series, you could not exceed 305 two, cubic okay. inch block. So anyway, uh, Chevrolet got with Smokey on it. So we need your help. We want to get in the winter circle more often. He said, oh, heck, that's easy. I'll put a Hemi in it. Smokey, we're GM. He says, I know who you are. You do your job, leave me alone, and let me do your work. So they started with the 302 Chevy block, did internal modifications inside the engine, Hemi heads, Hemi intake. No, well, they said the heads are big enough to stick your fist through the ports. Uh, I have not had the heads Pardon. off, but I okay. sure wouldn't argue that with yeah. you either, though. So anyway, Smokey built three of these. Uh, three like of the engines. Three of the engines. Like I said, we do have a 68, and we have the 69. It's interesting, you look up in the hood. That's a cross-ram right. air intake system. What type of transmission does it have? Uh, Muncie 21 four speed. They used to call them the rock crushers. Okay. I mean, you had to jam them. Jam them and to get them to go. It wasn't no real easy way of shifting. You just had to hammer them. Okay. Yeah. And I, I see uh, from the side here, it looks like there's two four barrel hollies on there. are hollies. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Two four barrel hollies for carbs. Let's talk about the paint. This is Cortez Silver. Cortez Silver. Which is a it was at the time a standard Camaro color. Right. And I mean just a good outstand good color for the okay. car. Let's put it oh, that way. Oh, it's fantastic. Now, the black, right? Uh, these lines are not stickers, they're not no, decals. They're, they're actually, actually painted. Painted on. Painted on. Absolutely. Um, tell us about the front end here. It's what bit. they call a Euro style bumper. Normally they were always chrome like this here. Okay. And actually, in our collection, we do have two '69 Camaros with the Euro-style bumper okay. on it. Yeah. So a little, a little unusual. Right. Um, and that that would have been ordered as a extra with yeah, that option, right? As an option. Yeah. Okay. And and then, of course, the engine you can't find anywhere. That was never actually developed. Right. So on the interior, uh, this particular Camaro did have some options. So right. I mean, you got this houndstooth uh, uh, interior. Crew. Right. Um, so yeah, the colors mix matched in between mm -hmm. there. Did it have anything else that was not standard that you can think of? Not, not that I could think of. I mean, it was a race car. We need seats. We need a motor drive. Right. You know. What now I mean, the seatbelt storage. Right. Is that standard? That was yeah. That was standard. And that and that was that little pocket in the middle center console was designed to store the seat belts. Exactly, you had the little clips so they're you know where the ends were. Let's put it that and way. I, this would have been your lap belt. Yes, sir. This would have up here would have been your shoulder belt. Correct. Yes. Man, you want to keep you secure. Twisting one way and then twisting another to get everything uh, latched in there. Right. And you were latched in too, believe me. <laughs> oh, I bet you were. Yeah. With something we know, with something uh, that, that that much. Horsepower and torque. Right. Oof. So what what did this put out for horsepower? A little over 600 horse. Uh, Just enough to get Grandma to church back. Put it this way, I think they underrated it, but I can't Ooh. prove it. But right. Just to stay within the guidelines, if you will. Okay. So, what, do, but, but what, what, what do I need to say here? Right. Right. No, I I, I understand. It's it's more than what it's rated at. Right. Uh, which is similar to the other 69 Camaro. Exactly. It's just uh, they didn't want to over... Well, right. it's cheaper to insure, right? Exactly. The manufacturer says. That, and that stay was... within the guidelines of the race yeah. company itself, Come. if you will. So the speedometer is a 120 miles an hour speedometer. Yeah. I'm sure it probably would have done uh, past that. Put it... Uh, um, I'm going to... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I think, well, it, on a straight line, if you get ahead a long right. enough distance. 
Um, you know, you did have some center gauges. Right. Was that standard? That was, yes. That was, was all standard, okay? Yes. What's interesting is how far down it, the cover goes. Goes. goes big time. The rubber cover is not up here where you'd expect it to be. It's at, but it's there. Exactly. I mean, it's not missing. This is no. It's not a cubby hole either. Uh, right. You <laughs> see. Uh, so don't throw your drink in there. You have trouble shifting. I'm gonna say otherwise. It's uh, dry rot or out, and they're not there anymore. Things like that. So. Yeah. Hey, uh, I, I don't. Yeah. Okay. And I'd like to see you replace that. <laughs> well, I can feel the rubber hook down here. Yeah. So maybe I don't know. Maybe originally there was something right there, right. but I, I, you know, I don't certainly don't feel anything. And it's a heavy duty boot. You know what this, I mean? Okay, this was your just shifting pattern. Right, and you got your wood grain on there wood as well. Wood grain, that was standard. Yes, sir. Oh, this one had the radio. Yes. And, but it did, oh, and it had climate too. Right. And so I got a pretty good feeling the radio and the climate control wasn't used too wasn't much. Wasn't used a whole lot. <laughs> but we got it. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Rick, this car has a little bit of history. Big time, yes. So let's talk about some of its former owners. Well, let's talk about Mr. Reggie Jackson. He's a car guy. Uh, I don't know how many he has, but he, he rotates has his inventory. Collection. You're right. Now, I mean, and he rotates his inventory. I've been at some auctions, you know, where he'll have 17, 18 vehicles. And, uh, and if for what it's worth, we do have a picture of him up here in the dashboard speak up yeah. if you will but uh, yeah no uh, other than a great ball player I mean a very big car enthusiast person I've talked to him I mean just like you and I standing here there's yeah. this car guy yes sir yes <laughs> oh look at this okay I, I love this I didn't see this from the angle we were okay, at but you know, you've actually got uh, the Smokey Yannick uh, Hemi 302. 302 written right on the hood. So when you pulled up to the Only stop. Only one of three could have that officially badged right. in there. So when you pulled up to the stoplight. Everybody knew. Your neighbor knew who was who. And so where is the third engine? Do we know? Oh, well, let's say a guy by the name of Richard Chorus. Ah, that's where it resides. There you go. Okay. That's then, right. Then we know where the third one is. Yeah. Let's step around the back. Other than the engine and the upgraded interior with the houndstooth, was anything else done to you know the suspension or the right. brakes? The brakes and suspension. I think you uh, got like JL8 disc brakes okay. on the rear. Then you got the rally wheels as well, and it's kind of unique how you got the sports car 200 Firestones on there. <laughs> you know, I, I suppose the difference between this Camaro and your other 69 that's got the 427 in it, which right. is the standard Camaro. Right, right. Was that, that was like ordered like a, a check sheet box. Yeah. I want option two, three, and four. Right, I'm at Burger whereas, King today, I want up my right. way. Right, whereas this one was, you know, Smokey Yannick redesigned right. everything. That needed to be done for the car to be safe. He, he told them what the specs will be. Right. Instead of, here's what we got to work with, no. I'm at Burger King. I want it my way today. So, yeah. um, and you okay. still got the side markers and stuff and that on the fenders. Right here. Oh yeah. Right. And then they, you got the little ram deal on the the spoiler this. as well. I love the uh, Z28 right. badging. Right. And, like, and, and then again the smoky Yannick right in the right back. Is back. Well, if you have that, you might as well advertise it. Why? Because that's what makes it special, right? You got it. And yeah. and, and unique. Okay, Rick, thank you so much for uh, for taking your time again with us on this beautiful 69Z28, one of the kind Smokey Yannick uh, Hemi uh, Camaro. And a special thanks to Bob Marvin, the owner, for uh, letting you come and uh, show us this car. And also, uh, you know, you notice uh, Rick Shirt says the shed. In War Road, Minnesota, that's where the museum is. Correct. Yes. Sir. Um, and uh, people are, can come visit out Absolutely. there. Absolutely. So look them up. Right. You want to see uh, 97 rare cars. Right. And that's no, where you can go. Plus, no charge to get in. And, no charge uh, to get in, but Rick takes donations. Right. Yeah, we just. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, folks. No. Thanks for watching.